I did shake hands with President Duterte uh, last night. Um, it was not a long interaction, and uh, what I indicated to him is, is that uh, my team uh, should be meeting with his and determine how we can uh, move forward on a whole range of issues. Uh, as I said when I was asked about this uh, in China, uh, I don't take these comments personally because it seems as if this is uh, a phrase he's used repeatedly including directed at the Pope and others. And so uh, I think it seems to be just uh, you know, a, a habit, uh, a way of speaking for him. Um, but as I said in China, you know, we want to partner with the Philippines on the particular issue of narco traffickers, which is a serious problem in the Philippines. It's a serious problem in the United States and, and around the world. On that narrow issue, we do want to make sure that the partnership we have is consistent with international norms uh, and rule of law. Uh, so we're not going to back off our position that if we're working with a country, whether it's on anti-terrorism, whether it's on uh, going after drug traffickers, uh, as despicable as these networks may be, as much damage as they do, uh, it is important from our perspective to make sure that uh, we do it the right way. Because the consequences of when you do it the wrong way is innocent people get hurt. Uh, and you have a whole bunch of unintended consequences that uh, don't solve the problem. It has no impact on our broader relationship with the Philippine people, on the wide range of programs and security cooperation that we have with this treaty uh, ally. And it certainly has no impact in terms of how we interpret our obligations to uh, continue to build on uh, the long standing alliance that we have with the Philippines, however uh, that may play itself out. And uh, uh, you know, my hope and expectation is, is that uh, uh, as uh, President Duterte uh, and his team uh, get acclimated to uh, his new position, uh, that they're able to define and uh, clarify what exactly they want to get done, uh, how that fits in with the work uh, that we're already doing with the Philippine government, and uh, hopefully it will be uh, on a, a strong footing by the time the next administration comes in. As far as Mr. Trump, I've, I think I've already offered my opinion. I don't think the guy's qualified to be President of the United States. And every time he speaks, that uh, opinion is confirmed. And I think the most important thing for the public and the press is to just listen to what he says and follow up and ask questions about what appear to be either contradictory or uninformed or outright ideas. Uh, there is this process that seems to take place over the course of the election season where somehow behavior that in normal times we would consider completely unacceptable and outrageous becomes normalized. And people start thinking that uh, we should be grading on a curve. But uh, I can tell you from the interactions that I've had over the last uh, eight or nine days with foreign leaders that this is serious business. And you actually have to know what you're talking about and you actually have to uh, have done your homework. And when you speak, it should actually reflect thought out policy that you can implement. Um, and I have confidence that if, in fact, people just listen to what he has to say and look at his track record or lack thereof, that they'll make a good decision. 
Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.